Hi guys, this is Peggy with I'mLosingItToday.com and I'm back here with our last segment with Robin Moore and it has been such a fun time. We, I have as much fun talking off camera as I do talking on camera. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm like, okay. I think we're not <laughs> recording in between. Or? I know because I'm like, okay, we need to go on because I know you have another life. <laughs> so, um, but we were, as we're talking, we kind of came up with, uh, she came up with, you know what? A big factor that has been, for me, has been time management. And I think you were talking earlier about having a balanced life and having a good time management will help you have a good balanced life. So in your pursuit of having a home business, what have you found has been a big factor for you as far as having good time management? Sure. And I will tell you, everything that I have learned, I have learned from um, Mary Kay, the person, Mary Kay Ash, because um, mm -hmm. she knew when she started this business 55 years ago as a single mom, um, with three children, like you, women were going to, time was always going to be an issue, always, right. um, because mm -hmm. of what we're required to do as women, mothers, wives. Um, so really time management is something that's always on our mind. Right. And I will say one of my new years, and I don't really believe in new year's resolutions, but one of my goals for this year is to master my personal time management. Um, because it just makes us, it just makes everything about what we do better if right. we're scheduled and planned. Although I, it is not who I am personally. I do not like that type of, I don't like to do it. <laughs> it is not something I like to do. I like to live free as a bird. Um, but you cannot accomplish, you know. What you need wearing jummies all day. <laughs> well, you can. That's you true. You can't see what's That's down true. below, you know. Um, but just making sure that we set our priorities and follow what our priorities are. So for me, my priority is God first. So if I'm right. just going to give you basic tips, I, this is I will just give you basic tips to um, mastering your time management. So um, knowing what your priorities are first. So for me, um, my relationship to the Lord is my first priority. So I actually do the five o'clock club and I get up at five o'clock in the morning and I have prepped my coffee the night before so that mm -hmm. all I have to do is click the go button because that's like 15 minutes to clean the coffee pot and dump the grounds yeah. and redo it all. So um, I want to make sure that I have my time lined up perfectly right. so um, once that coffee's going I sit and read my Bible and mm -hmm. my um, really my goal it, for this year is to read through my Bible as it is every year um, but I will say like Peggy said in the last segment write it down so I mm -hmm. have a checkoff list for my Bible reading and I check off and read yep. through so that I know where I have to go and what I've done um, and let me just Reiterate on that. When you miss that, do you not feel so frazzled all day? <laughs> if I well, miss my quiet time, I'm like, okay, what is missing here? Okay, I didn't have my quiet time, and I do an app. Um, we won't say that we turn into the devil, but <laughs> well, you just you realize okay, your flesh is weak. Your you flesh is weak, and time. you do, and it's just it makes your day so much better sure. because you have God's word here. Yes in front of your your foreheads what I like to say is written here and if you miss that yeah it, it totally throws you off. I'm really on a side note to that um, that's not really have to do it with time management but the more you read through your Bible the more you will know God's Word and yeah. that's his love letter to us so the more you know it took the first three years of reading through my Bible that I was like oh my word when I would get to a section yeah. I'd be like know what's coming and know like how to connect the dots to this amazing yeah and you always you know, miss something you yeah. go through oh, oh how did I miss that yeah, <laughs> I might have fallen asleep during that one section <laughs> um, so so yes yeah, so I spend really like between five and six in the morning um, reading God's Word I might load or unload the dishwasher throw a, a thing of laundry in because mm -hmm. let's face it if you have more than if you have children at home you have laundry that um, reproduces <laughs> so um, <laughs> so just doing those few short things before my kids get up Right. Um, sets me up for success. So when I, when you run an in-home business, there is nobody here clocking you in and out. Right. Um, you're the CEO, but would you fire yourself because you're not working? 
Right. So you really do have to plan to work. Mm -hmm. So when I know that my son has a basketball game, like I plan to get enough work done during the day so that I am absolutely free at night to enjoy right. his basketball game. Right. Or I, you know, I really prefer to get as much done during the day, but we know we need to go get groceries right. and we need to fold that laundry right. that we, you know, put in the um, washing machine. And there's things that we have to do, of course, like a, any regular yeah. person. Um, but just setting up that schedule, and I will tell you, like Sunday nights are after church are great for me that I will sit and kind of look at my schedule for, for the, the week, week. Yep. and I will communicate with my husband on the time frames that I'm not going to be home because I'm holding a party or I'm not yeah. going to be um, available because I am you know helping a woman um, grow her business right. um, so we <laughs> know when those times are and um, you know it's good for my husband and it's good for me so yeah. so everything is it makes it happy when right. your husband has the expectations, if you're in that situation, if you don't have a husband and you don't have children, then yeah, <laughs> you yeah. don't have those problems. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you know, you're talking about that on Mondays, my husband's day off is Mondays. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times Monday mornings, we'll get our calendars mm -hmm. and we go through our calendars, what's this? And you know, a big time management thing for me that has been a huge help to me is meal planning. Oh yes, yes. I, um, I, sometimes I will, a lot of times if I'm making like a big pot of soup or whatever, mm -hmm. I will make a double amount mm -hmm. and freeze Smart. a bag mm -hmm. so that if I do have those days, it's like, oh man, what's for dinner? Because we don't really eat out that much. Sure. You know, it's expensive. It's just mm -hmm. me and my husband now. But honestly, I like to know what's in it's my healthier. food. It's <laughs> absolutely. And, and I will say that's really, that's really smart. Yeah. Um, meal planning, like yeah. I don't want my business to ever be an excuse as to why my kids did not have a good healthy meal. Right. Um, or just a good tasting meal. So it's so funny that you say that because <laughs> I, I went to um, a grocery store yesterday, did some grocery shopping, and my husband looked in the fridge and he kept pulling things out and said, what is this for? And I said, it's for a meal that I have that I'm planning. <laughs> well, why did you buy this? I'm like, it's for a meal. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wouldn't you know, say I give them all the details, but I at least, you know, because I wanted to surprise them because it's yeah. a, a meal that my kids really like. And yeah. But it was just funny because just last night he asked me four times why I bought that. I'm like, it's for a meal. And you know what I used to do too, and I don't do it too. I still do, even though it's just my husband and I, but... I'll write a menu Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then they're like, what's for dinner? And I'm like, look on the refrigerator. Sure. That's great. Not always you can stick to it because, mm -hmm. you know, things, things come, come up, up. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you might have to run out and do a meal, be in a ministry. Somebody mm -hmm. might call you up and say, hey, can you guys come over? And I'm like, sure. Anytime I don't have to cook is a great time. It is a good time. <laughs> I will admit it is a really good yeah, one. So. But I will also say along that lines is the crock pot or just a oh, one yeah. pot meal. I feel like I'm queen of a one pot meal. If I, I am big I time throw it all pot. in and if there's no leftovers, then I know it was a success. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Just a little tip on that. My new favorite thing is crock pot liners. I don't know if you use them. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Special on Sundays because I don't know. There's something about you coming home like on Sunday. You don't feel like you put the crock pot liners in and then all you do is take the, the bag out and you basically just wipe your crock pot. That's great. Yeah. So crock pot liners, if time you use saver. a crock pot, mm -hmm. huge time saver and they just, and plus I think they'll help with the uh, saving of your crock pot sure. too, you know, so. And let's face it, why we're having in-home businesses because we want to save money. Right. And eating out, um, if you at all follow any of Dave Ramsey, you know, eating out does not save you money. No. And um, buying things that you don't know what you're gonna actually cook the meal for and those foods that we throw away because we had good intentions of doing yeah. something. So that's where that meal planning can really, um, keep you financially on track right. as well as um, keep your food not boring right like right you know so that you're oh it's Tuesday spaghetti and yeah Wednesday pot roast yeah. and Thursday pizza or yeah. whatever and, and you can get creative I bought six zucchinis because I was gonna make a zucchini lasagna mm -hmm. and I never did get to it so we've been having roasted zucchini every night at dinner <laughs> Yeah, because and they're delicious. Have you ever tried <laughs> zucchini noodles? 
Yeah, I've never made them. I've had them before, but this was kind of the same thing. You, yeah. you make lasagna, you use zucchini instead of the yeah. pasta. Mm -hmm. Well, I never did get around to it, and I thought, well, i got to use these zucchinis. So I just slice them up, salt, pepper, oh, I like a little them. bit of garlic powder, I olive oil, too. and um, put it in the oven. Yeah, and delicious. 425 for We're 20 hungry. minutes. Is it lunch? It, <laughs> it must, must be lunch time. <laughs> it must be lunch time. Uh, yeah, so. But the last thing I'll say about time management is... Um, Again, looking back to even, it's all kind of connected as to why you're doing this and not listening to your excuses and low risk, low reward, high risk, high reward and your expectations. Yeah. So time management is not easy and it's not something that most people is natural for them to just you know, say that I'm gonna do this then and I actually do it. Um, I feel like it's almost we fight against it. So right. um, knowing your why, and your priorities, setting up your time, like knowing what it takes to get your work done, what it takes to have your house clean, what it takes to make your dinners, but then also working your business in there like an actual business, clocking right. in, clocking out, um, really can transform if you have an in-home in business now and you're right. struggling and you're <clears throat> plateauing, um, look at what how much time you're actually putting into your business. Mm -hmm. A lot of times as women, we spend a lot of time in our brain thinking about things, thinking that we've actually done something when all we've done is thought about it. Yeah. Um, so actually putting it on paper and setting that schedule and, and just living to that schedule. Not that it can't move and adjust next week because you had something going on during the day right. that you wanted to do, but really just, you know, being disciplined to set a schedule and work with it yeah. um, really will transform and it gives you so much peace right. because you know you've accomplished you know what you and you know what's coming up yep you know you're not surprised when these things come up and um, you know you just you know how to you know how your day is gonna go mm -hmm. and I often I heard a lady one time that she had an in-home business and she said you know what I got up in the morning I got my shower and just as you know at eight o'clock I wanted to start work and yes. I treated it as I was going to an office sure. you know she said I knew when I got my shower and got my makeup on and got mm -hmm. got dressed I knew that I was going to be more productive because mm -hmm. I felt better instead of you know if you want to sit in your pajamas that's fine sure. you know I've done that I've set my sure. island and worked in my robe mm -hmm. <laughs> until lunch but time sure, but <laughs> if your hair's done your makeup's on you're yeah. ready for the day yeah absolutely. if you want to go out and because let's face it if you're doing an in-home business being in home all the time does yeah. not really make you money right it's what you do you know throughout your day right. needing to go out and meet new people um, most in-home businesses are people businesses right. so right. you can't meet anybody in your house <laughs> right well those have been some great tips Robin I appreciate so much you let me come into she's let me come into her beautiful home today to do this recording and I have learned so much and we could go on and on okay. but um, we'll do another segment we'll do some more segments down the yeah. road how's yeah. that so thanks guys for tuning in we really appreciate it and Robin thanks again for having me and I'm um, so glad. we will um, just uh, talk to you soon, I Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. Enjoy your day. All right. Enjoy your day. Thanks again. Bye.